Okay, good afternoon. I'm back to share two things. Um, Tracy Fox on YouTube has this awesome tutorial that I think she's posted today. And I tried it out and I wanted to show it, share it with you how it turned out. We have a girl who has given us a graduation announcement from high school. And so I wanted to do something special. And I thought that this Tracy Fox tutorial was special. So I've given her journals before, and so I thought that she could add this to her journal. And I also wanted it to be sort of a card so that we could, you know, graduation, put a little money in with it. So this is what I've come up with, with <laughs> the Tracy Fox tutorial. So I've used graphic 45 paper and the coffee dye paper. And so I've added the ribbon, glued it just a little teeny bit to hold it in place, and then I've stenciled the back side. Then, oops, the one side, and on this, this is a pocket that I've made that we can put the money or whatever in. And then we've got the three different tags that she can journal on that she can put in her a journal that I've already given her things like that so thank you Tracy Fox it worked perfectly it's just I was intimidated a little bit because well I always get that way when I start something new but this was great thank you now the real reason <laughs> we are here today is to share the steampunk journal my first attempt, and I really hope she likes it. I got the image from Patricia Viramontes from her Pinterest. It, She has got a wealth of steampunk knowledge, that woman. I mean, it's gorgeous. And then I found this paper that just has a different texture to it. It is paper, though. It's kind of cool. I thought it went with the photo, the image. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's tied with this stretchy lace. The lace is not attached to the book. And then my daughter, with some vintage lace that she got me at an antique store yesterday for Mother's Day. Thank you, Anna. So I've added a couple of rows of it, some lace, and then some crocheted lace. I was going to remember to tell you what the paper was that I used. They're all from Etsy sellers. I do remember some of them. I'll tell you the ones I remember. Okay, so I've used some Tim Holtz to decorate the pocket and some lace from Teresa. And we've got in the pocket, well, beside the pocket, we have a Tim Holtz lady. And I tried butterfly wings behind her and the only butterfly wings I had at the time was a stamp. So that was my first attempt. And then in the pocket we have a tag that I've covered with washi. So a washi tag. And the one that is receiving this really likes washi tape so I think that'll be good. <coughs> Excuse me. This tag comes from Dreams Etc. Etc. Thank you. And whoop and some trim that I don't recall where I got, but it's kind of fun. So I thought that'd be cute. And then we've got some vellum paper. And here's one of the images. All from an Etsy seller, two Etsy sellers. So this one, oops, this one. And one just like it, except it has lines on it. That came from one seller. All the other papers in here came from another seller. Okay, so here we go. We've got a Patricia like um, corner pocket made with book page. Some beautiful blue and red trim. I've embossed a couple of clock faces. And then this is, <coughs> excuse me, a boat wheel ship's wheel with a little yellow ribbon. Then inside 
we have this journal card that comes from dreams, etc. And then this one, I think this comes from, oh, dang. Mm. Oh, my memory. Anyway, and crochet trim, and the flowers are Tim Holtz. I've made up a plate. I've done just a little bit of script stamping throughout. This is a Tim Holtz piece. And it holds the flap for this. It comes all the way out open. And she can turn off on all of that. And I'm not going to try and do it one hand. Okay, we're going to try it one hand. Mm -hmm. Done deal. Then I've seen Paula Lemon two pockets like this. And she usually sews her enters. Since I don't sew, it's glued. But it's still cute. And it's made with graphic 45 paper. And on the inside we have a Dreams Etc. card. Journal card. A paper bag. It has a piece of ephemera from Seven Gypsies for a tuck spot, for a tag made with graphic 45 paper, and some journal on the back, and some trim. And then a Seven Gypsies tag with this gorgeous blue trim. And inside we have another Dreams, etc. card. And then we have a quote that I found online. It says, Steampunk, what the past would look like if the future had happened sooner. Yeah, we all have to think about that one for a minute. <laughs> then my compass stamp. This also comes from Dreams, etc. A ticket. I've embossed some cardstock with dandelions and then lined cardstock on the back. Beautiful paper. If you want to know where I got the paper, since I have forgotten to write it down, let me know and I'll find it for you. So my new stamp on some vintage typewriter paper. And then here's the lined one. Then with um, burlap and lace trim, it folds all the way down, and you can journal on both sides. Oh, this wind. Okay, stay there. And behind it, oh, we have a stopper here that is cardstock that I've edge punched, and then images of the Eiffel Tower. Then we've got this journaling booklet, this image comes from Ephemera's Vintage Garden, I do believe. And it's some vintage paper you can turn on. And then I received this in a swap, I don't recall who. <coughs> Excuse me, it might have been Teresa. A time card that I've tea dyed. You can turn on that. And then some more of this gorgeous paper. Strip stamping. Here is another of those wonderful envelopes that I got from Gina Weissman. And in this one, I have put a piece of paper that was sent to me by Elaine. Isn't that just wow? Your touch of red right there. It looks almost, I don't know, it feels just really linen y. Hmm, I'm not sure. That's cool. So there you go. And an altered paper clip with burlap and lace and some gears on cardstock. And then on the back side, also in that paper clip, was a Prima card. Then we've got a glassine bag, 
that I also received in a swap. I think this was from Teresa also. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is from Dreams, etc. Kind of cool, huh? I like that. And then in the bag, we have a large tag that I've made with cardstock. The paper is from Elaine. And this image came from Pinterest, I do believe. And some blue lace. Goodness. Then behind it, we have this image. And I've tea dyed it. Lots of journaling space. And then from Teresa the Friends who showed how to do a tag page. She does various tag pages. This is a more simple one, but I like it. And stamp combo sites. More of that beautiful paper. And in the center, we have more of the front cover page. And I've used them as tuck spots. So, and this one is a tag, uh, excuse me, a journal card with some black lace. It says antique, backed with vintage dictionary page. This is from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. And the paper is Graphic 45. And then I've just put a piece of cardstock on the back to journal on and stamp. And this one. Kind of the same, um, Graphic 45, Ephemeral's Vintage Garden, uh, vintage, backed with some of this paper, just the black side, and lined cardstock for journaling. I like the way those turn out. Simple yet elegant. Some more lined paper, tag page, a little bit of script stamping. Another glassine bag. Another um, dreams, etc. image. Another large journal er, tag. This is some paper I had in my stash, and this paper comes from Elaine. And this is Tim Holtz. This is some pink trim. And then behind, we have a large journal card. This one is. Ephemeral's Vintage Garden, but instead of just putting it on there, I scrunched it all up first in a ball. And then I spread it out and just randomly smeared some vintage photo distress ink over it in just little parts here and there. And I like the way it turned out. And then Graphic 45 paper. And on the back we have line cardstock and today's date. This is our second altered paper clip. This one is made with, well, it's hard to tell in this light, but it does sparkle paper. And burlap and lace. And this bird comes from Tim Holtz. And then I just found this. Well, it's actually, it comes from him. That hat. I printed it out twice so I could have this hat. <laughs> and I fussy cut it out and put it on the bird. And I thought he was cute. Then we have this large journal card. Today's date, lined, lots of journal space. And then on the other side of the paper clip is this journal card. Another belly band, holds down, and up. Here's the stopper cardstock and a butterfly that I got off um, Pinterest, I do believe. And we have this gorgeous Hermelinda type tag with Ephemeral's Vintage Garden Graphic 45. And it opens, it really does. For journaling. I like the way that one turned out. And crochet trim. And then in front of that, I've altered a guest check 
with Tsunami Rose and some washi tape. More of the lined paper. More of the vintage typewriter paper. Um, dreams, etc. And this is also Dreams, etc. I just stapled it on there. And then I embossed a tree and lined cardstock on the back. Beautiful. Oh, that rose is so pretty. Another, uh, well, actually, it's a definition for steampunk. The other half of the paper bag with some more Seven Gypsies ephemera. A graphic 45 backed onto a card, um, a chip, no, cards, a chipboard tag with dark blue ribbon. I like that paper, it's pretty. And a Seven Gypsies tag with lace. And inside the bag, whoop, we have a journal card. Here's another envelope type writing space with Tim Holtz. all the way open for journaling. Do that one later. And then the envelope this time has a Dreams Etc. gear on it. Um, graphic 45 paper. And inside we have come on, come on. Of course. Don't bring this up. Oh, hang on. We got this. Okay. A graphic 45 paper, and then, of course, um, Ephemerid's Vintage Garden. Journaling on the back. This is another Patricia pocket with lace trim, and this time I embossed some gears to go on it. This is a, a note card that I got from an estate sale, and it's cool because it's a trifold. Isn't that cool? So it's got a little graphic 45 paper as a tuck spot for this tag. I got, I bought these from um, a very nice lady, a good friend. Catherine, Catherine Lamb, I believe is her name, and she has a YouTube, Orange She Glad, and I bought those from her, and another tag with lines on the back for journaling, Tim Hulse and Tim Hulse, and in theory, you can journal on all of that. And then the last one, beautiful pattern paper tuck spot, and a Dreams Etc. gear, and a Tim Holtz grad on file folder. And then we have a quote, it was all the great achievements require time, Maya Angelou. Some more vellum paper. And then the last pocket, which is again Tim Holtz pieces and lace trim. And inside we have some script stamping, and then I stamped on another piece of cardstock and put it on top. And we have the, another washi tape tag. Turn it on the back and blue trim. Here is Dreams Etc. Another journal card from her. And 
another dreams, etc. This is some pretty blue dream. And that is my first ever steampunk journal. What do you think? Was it okay? Is there room for improvement? Should I have done something different? Please, comment. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Thank you. Have a very good day. And happy Mother's Day yesterday to everybody. Bye-bye.